I grew up in a very small town called Milford, Michigan uh, in the Midwest. We had one traffic light. Um, I was a terrible student. My uh, last grades in high school uh, mathematics that I can recall was a D in Algebra 1. I failed the first time. I got a D with a tutor the second time. I took virtually no science. I hated it. I was going to be a professional French horn player. And that's what I did. I went to a conservatory in New York City um, called the Manus College of Music. I played in Europe and South America and New York City. And after living on a fairly small salary for three or four years, I decided that I was going to become a doctor. At which point my father said, are you serious? You're an idiot in science and math. <laughs> you failed out of all your high school classes. How are you going to become a doctor? So I met this extraordinary guy who was a French horn player also, who then went on to become a pediatric surgeon at Columbia. And I talked to him about this possibility. And he said, yeah, if you can get into medical school, you could probably uh, find a pretty satisfying career. So I found myself a tutor in math at age 22. And I went back and studied Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Trigonometry, Calculus. I went through the pre-med program at Columbia. Um, did well there, graduated from Cornell Medical College with honors, and then finished up my residency training at UCLA. Um, things don't always go well in life, and um, after I had these, what I thought were pretty impressive accomplishments and was ready to start my life, I ended up in Tucson, Arizona, and um, found myself going through a divorce. And I looked in the mirror one day, and, um, and I looked like crap. And um, I thought, here I've spent all this time, and um, I may end up you know, losing my family, losing a kid, losing my house, losing my practice. Um, and as I'm whining, look at myself in the mirror, I said, um, you know, a year from now, you're going to either be here or you won't. You'll either be alive or dead. So I decided to make myself stronger than I'd ever been in my life, and just to fiddle well, roam, burn, and have fun doing it. So I took up the sport of triathlon. and. Um, the only problem there was I didn't know how to swim. So uh, <laughs> I had to learn how to swim, and I got a swim coach. And uh, a few months later, I did my first Ironman triathlon, and it changed my life. And it, it changed my view of medicine and what is possible. And um, so I guess, um, I guess I could say that I'm sort of the ultimate optimist. Um, and I, I, I love to surround myself with optimistic people who share those values. No matter what life throws at you, um, what the hell, put a smile on your face and see what you can make out of it.